So I'm nine weeks today. I woke up in a panic. I just, I don't know what it is about hitting that nine week mark, but miscarriage is on the mind and I'm just like freaking out a little bit. I've known a lot of people to have miscarriages. I think we all probably do. And it seems like the most common week for miscarriages that I've like known of people is week 10. So I have an ultrasound next week on my week 10 mark, thank heavens. But I'm still just like, oh, get me out of this first trimester. I'm just panicking, but I'm feeling good. I'm feeling fatter. My pants are getting tighter. Everything still fits, it's just tighter. And um, I'm just kind of nauseous for like that first hour in the morning after I wake up. And then usually like the last hour before I go to bed and it's not really that nauseous. It's just not feeling right. And like when I'm hungry, like right now, <laughs> I'm, I need to go eat because I'm starting to feel a little ugh. But I've been drinking a ton of water and I went through that whole thing of like getting off Diet Coke and wanting it so bad. And now to like a 16 ounce bottle, it'll take me like more than a week to go through one. Like I finally had to throw one away the other day because it was just beyond flat in my fridge. So I just haven't really wanted it. I don't know if that's my subconscious saying, drink water, it's better for you, you're pregnant. Or if it just doesn't, I mean, it's not that it doesn't sound good. It does, it sounds good, but I just don't, I don't crave it like I used to. So that's kind of interesting, but I still have it. <laughs> Every once in a while, I'll have like a sip a day. Honestly, that's about what it comes down to. Still out of breath, but that is a side effect of the progesterone, which I have just over a week left on the progesterone. And then I'm done. And I'm actually really nervous about going off it. I hate it. I hate every single night how I have to do this injection, but um, I'm like nervous about going off of it. So I'm gonna talk to my doctor next week because I see him the day before I go off my progesterone. So I'm gonna talk to him about it and just kind of get an understanding of what can happen when going off of progesterone and if it can cause anything. I don't know, we'll see. And I I got my energy back though. My I'm not really as tired. I still take a nap every once in a while, but I don't take a nap every day like I used to. So I'm really feeling pretty good. I think that's also why I'm a little paranoid about miscarrying and the whole thing just because I don't know anyway I just feel like I should be sicker but it's okay I'm fine my app today on the week nine mark it says starting week nine it's possible that you may hear the heartbeat using the Doppler so when Mike gets home from work tonight we'll try the Doppler again we did try it a few days ago obviously we didn't hear anything but we'll try it again tonight and hopefully I'm not counting on it because my doctor said week 10, but hopefully we'll be able to hear something that would really ease my mind. <laughs> but we'll keep trying probably every day now since my app said starting week nine. So today baby is the size of a cherry. So almost one inch. So really excited. We ordered some cameras, like a camera for the baby room. And it's starting to get a little bit more real, but Mike did say to me the other day, when does it become like fun? <laughs> because you just feel like you're, it's fun, but you feel like you're in a constant state of worry in the first trimester, at least for us. I don't know if normal people feel this way. I don't know if it's just because we've, it's taken us so long to get to this point, but I, we're just kind of in a constant state of like panic, but we're still enjoying it. We're still having a good time. There's still like a few friends that I've been telling here and there. I'm, I have a friend coming in out of town next week and I'm excited to tell her. So it's fun. We're having a good time and it's still exciting and hopefully we can just push the worry to the back of our mind. There's no reason to worry until there's a reason to worry and we have no reason to worry right now. So we're okay. 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 Got to. Okay. Should I put it on this? Yeah, sure. Just follow the directions this time. That would be helpful. Yeah. Woo! It's cold. Okay. You're on one?
Should we mark it with a sharpie? <laughs> Just do it for twenty seconds. I One times three, that's one eighty. I guess sixty four and sixty nine. Are you good? I can't, like, I'm too. I know, but you can't. Yes, I can, other than it's not really comfortable. Does it hurt or something after that? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm so happy. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, right there. It was like the exact center, literally right above my hairline. Alright, here's the. Thank you. We found it. <laughs> <laughs> 